going on linear algebra bros I'm having so much fun with uh, the material in this section that I, I feel like giving another example uh, this time we want to find the cosine of the angle between two matrices uh, specifically uh, two matrices that come from set of all two by two square matrices I do want to mention that this is going to be with respect to the standard inner product on m sub 2 2 so let me just quickly give you a recall statement here the standard inner product on the set of all square matrices um, so uh, it works for m sub 2 2 as well then would be the trace of the product of u transpose v where u and v come from um, the set of all square matrices in this case they're going to come from um, m sub 2 2 so let's keep that in mind Another thing to keep in mind is cosine theta, or the cosine of the angle between the two vectors, in this case the two matrices, given by the inner product of u and v, divided by the norm of each of those two vectors being multiplied together. Okay, so the product of their norms. So if you want, you can rewrite this as the inner product of A and B divided by the norm of A times the norm of B. I would definitely be okay with that if you write it this way. So three ingredients are required for this. Okay, First is the inner product, next is the norm of A, and then last is the norm of B. So let's start with the inner product of uh, A and B. Let's perhaps form the product A transpose B, and then we'll find the trace of that. So A transpose row 1 turns into 2, 1, and then 6, negative 3 for row 2, and then B, 3, 2, 1, 0. Alright, so let's go ahead and multiply these out. For the first entry of the product, we're looking at 6 plus 1, so 7. Then it's going to be 4 plus 0, so 4. <coughs> and then for the second row, we're looking at uh, 18 minus 3, so that's 16. And then uh, 12 plus 0, so that's 12. Which would imply that the trace of A transpose B is equal to 7 plus 12, which is 19. All right, so 19 is going to go in the numerator of that fraction. Let's work on calculating the norm of A. Okay, so just keep in mind uh, the norm of any vector from a real inner product space is the square root of the inner product of the vector with itself. So let's first work on the inner product part. Okay, that's going to be A transpose A. So A transpose 2, 1, 6, and negative 3 times A. So A is 2, 6, 1, negative 3. Multiply row 1 to column 1, we're looking at 4 plus 1, so that's 5. And then uh, for the second entry in row 1, we're looking at 12 minus 3, so that's 9. First entry of second row, we're looking at 12 minus 3, so 9 again. And then 36 uh, plus 9, so 45. And this would imply that the trace of A transpose A is equal to 50. Okay, now that 50 is the inside part of the square root. So this would imply that the norm of the vector A is equal to the square root of 50, which that definitely breaks down as 5 radical 2. Okay, so 5 radical 2 will be our first factor in the denominator. And now let's do the norm of the matrix B. 
it's going to be the inner product of b with itself all underneath the square root so let's do b transpose b so b transpose is 3 1 for the first row and then 2 0 for the second row multiplied to b so 3 2 1 and 0 so for the first entry you're looking at 9 plus 1 so 10 second entry in the top row would be 6 and 6 and then we're looking at 4 and this would imply that the trace uh, b transpose b is equal to 14 implying that the um, magnitude or the norm of the matrix b would be the square root of 14 and so this will be our second factor in the denominator alright so let's tighten this all up cosine theta is equal to 19 over 5 times the square root of 28 okay so 28 is 4 times 7 so a 2 is going to pop out making the 5 a 10 and then there being a 7 left over in the square root so the cosine of the angle theta is 19 over 10 times the square root of 7 this would imply that the angle is equal to cosine inverse of 19 over 10 times square root of 7 which works out to roughly 0.77 radians which in terms of degrees would be roughly 14.1 degrees alright folks that is how you do it in particular that is how you find the cosine of the angle between two matrices A and B uh, using the standard inner product on the set of all square matrices in particular in this case set of all two by two matrices with the specified matrix vectors a and b all right hope you had fun because i know i did uh, if you have any questions about what uh, went on in this video feel free to let me know otherwise i appreciate you uh, watching another one um, helping yourselves out by getting an extra dose of the material for this section have a great one linear algebras